March 2020. Um, the pandemic started here for California, basically. Um, and so all of a sudden, everything that our communities were doing, all of our projects, everything that we were doing to move forward um, was all put to a stop. And people lost their jobs. Barrio Logan has had and has one of the highest unemployment rates due to the pandemic. And we had one of the highest rates of COVID. So there were people here in Barrio Logan who were unemployed, who were sick, who had relatives who had passed away because of COVID. Um, the people around here were really, really struggling. And so it took a little bit of everyone getting on the same page about how to safely organize, how to safely protest, how to safely do outreach. And once we were able to do that, we set up a phone number with a COVID resource page. And basically we consolidated all the resources that we knew of, whether it's free food, rental assistance, free diapers, childcare, um, how to sign up for unemployment, whatever somebody needed. We had a whole list of resources. People could call that number. We would respond within 24 to 48 hours and connect that community member with that resource. And it wasn't just a one and done thing. We would follow up and make sure they were helped. And if they weren't, we would try to connect them with something else. Um, so we put those flyers around the community with our phone number, telling them to reach out, to reach out if they needed help during COVID, during the pandemic. We were able to connect a lot of people with resources. Um, and it felt like, you know, we were actually doing our part during that time when there was a lot of inactivity from a lot of other organizations or nonprofits that used to fill in, fill in that gap. Homeless shelters weren't taking more people. There was just a lot, a lot of people that were in really desperate situations, really dire. So we kind of had to fill up that gap. Um, and so we were doing that for the whole year. And fairly recently, the vaccine became available and we had the opportunity to host a vaccination event at Chicano Park. And so we organized our berets, the berets that we have, and we basically did that outreach for the vaccination event. We canvassed in front of the local North Gate in Barrio Logan every day to be able to collect about 400 um, names of interested people who wanted to get the vaccine. We were able to confirm 200 people. And so those 200 people showed up today at our vaccination event and we had extra people show up and we were able to get those people vaccinated as well. It was all local community people from Logan Heights, from Body Logan, National City, from Southeast, from Sherman Heights. It was all brown people that really, really didn't have access to the vaccine if they weren't able to get it in their neighborhood. Um, and they got it today at Chicano Park. We vaccinated about 305 people today. I talked to a lot of construction workers um, who hadn't had the opportunity to get the vaccine, whether it's because there's a language barrier or whether it's because of not having access to the internet or not being aware. Um, I talked to a lot of people that worked in construction and I was able to connect not only them, but their wives, their mothers to get a vaccine. Um, I talked to one gentleman who signed up all of his employees he worked, he's a manager at a local hotel, motel, here in Bali Logan, and um, he hasn't been able to get the vaccine for any of his, any of his employees. So we signed up all of them. We signed up some disabled seniors who hadn't been able to get the vaccine. And like I said, they should have been first in line. Um, but like it's been historically, the people in this community and in this neighborhood don't get to be first in line and so we have to create our own line so that we can prioritize our own our own gente. People are getting vaccinated in other neighborhoods and it's much more accessible to them and they get to the front of the line and we had seniors, disabled people, we had you know people that should have qualified a month ago for a vaccine unable to get an appointment and were able to just walk up today to their local park and get a vaccine.
and that's really what what our role is and what our role should be is providing those resources to this neighborhood because we wouldn't get them otherwise. We wouldn't get we wouldn't have had this event otherwise if we wouldn't have done all of that outreach and connected those people to this to this opportunity.